<laughs> the Kastabi Show is a game show where celebrities compete to title Kastabi paintings. And tonight we have three great minds, three of the greatest minds in New York City. We have legendary writer, the, the guy who wrote the first and definitive biography on Andy Warhol, Victor Bacchus. Yeah. Uh, we have a highly influential painter, and you can see his influence just now in, at Metro Pictures. There's yet another follower of Walter Robinson exhibiting, that Polish woman painter. It looks just like your work at, at your gallery, too. What are they doing there? We have, Ed, uh, he's also the editor of Artnet Magazine, Walter Robinson. Yeah. Walter, they're, they're, they're showing your followers, and they're putting them in the ground floor space. That, I know. that can't be good. Well, you're second, I'm second. It's like giant Walter Robinson paintings, but it's not your name on the wall. Yeah. I, I went to the opening last night. Yeah? If I were you, I'd be depressed. At least, at least, you're going to make money on today's game show. And thirdly, thirdly, we have a very interesting um, contestant. We have an art dealer from down the block, owner and director of the legendary Jim Kempner Gallery, Jim Kempner himself. Yeah. One of my favorite people, Jim Kempner. And also, I bring clients to his gallery, you know, to sell... Warhols and Picasso's, right, Jim? Sometimes? Yes, that's true. And all my clients say about you, and I guess I bring them to other galleries too, don't feel jealous or anything, but they say that you're the most honest. Really? Yeah. Because well, you, you don't, I mean, yeah. you don't well. inflate the prices artificially like everybody else in New York. So my Italian clients, they, they love you for that. Yeah, I inflate them just, just for the hell bit. of it. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> so you can pay, just so you can pay me my commission, exactly. which I've noticed you've always paid me on time. So I really sure. appreciate that, and it's great to have you Thank helping you. to title the Kastabi paintings now. My okay, let's get started immediately. The first painting that needs a title is this one. It's a brand new, very colorful painting that is complex, in my opinion. It shows a painting within a painting, or maybe it's a mirror, and it's all roped up, and there's Caravaggio-esque drapery around it. It's gold. Gold leaf in it, yeah. It's shining in the light. It's shiny. Shining it's gold. in the light. Shiny is good, right, Jim? Shiny this is great. something. If you handled Kastabi, you could probably move this I one would fast. I shiny. Right? A lot of shiny. Yeah, shiny. shiny. It's shiny. got red, red cells, right? Red's good. Red's good. Do we have any titles for this picture? Prisoner of art. Prisoner of what, Victor? Art. Prisoner of art. That's a Prisoner good title. of art. Yeah. I like it. Walter likes it. But Walter is also contestant, so. Right. <laughs> I don't like Prisoner of Art. Okay, it's we'll try something enough. else. Okay. Let's just try, try to up the right, here. Let's right, try to. Right. You like that, Charles? Yeah. yeah. We both like it. Yeah. Prisoner of Art. Wilfredo, well, is that going to come back to be retitled? Yes. <laughs> Better titles. Curtains Up. That's good. That's good. Of they like that. Yeah. Can I buy Curtains Up by Jim Kempner for $20? Yay. Yay. Yes, thank you, Jim Kempner. Yeah. 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 Nice. Curtains Up. All right. I like that. Okay, uh, do we have a title for this picture of a love scene? And it's not just a, a plain old love scene. There's more to the story. Notice that on the floor are pages of the book blowing away. Mm -hmm. So the pages of their personal history flowing away as they're embracing New York. So it's, it's a I have a title. Yes, Victor. Tangled up in red. What? Tangled up in red. Tangled up in red right. as opposed to tangled up in blue. Right. Do you have an even better title than tangled up in red, Walter or Jim? Hearts attack. Hearts attack? <laughs> That's not so bad. It's a heart shaped. Uh, do you have something even better, Walter? Um, let me think. Notice the appropriate music by our great pianist, Pat, Pat Doherty. Okay, Walter, I like you were the allowed way, to think. I like yes. the way the, the woman seems, you know, overtaken by passion, but the man seems totally casual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's experienced. So I would call it. Just being polite. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Coleman likes it. Yeah. Just being polite. Does that allude to the pages of history blowing in the wind at their feet? Polite. Just being polite. Can I buy that for $20? Jesus Christ. Probably in case. Wait, wait, Jim. Oh, You're still up. What was your title again? Hearts Attack. Hearts Attack. Is that worth $20? That's good. 
That got even more votes. What, how is that happening, Jim? They like hearts attack. How many friends do you have in the jury, Jim? I don't think I know anybody. Oh, I've got one. Drew. Drew is Oh, and Drew, the director. What? She's it, actually, I'm not actually. Keep the, your eye on Drew's <laughs> Victor. <laughs> uh, Victor, yours is? Tangled up in red. Tangled up in red. Can I buy that for $20 by Great. the great Victor Bacchus? No, the money goes to Jim yes. Kempner right. again. Victor, Pat's going to play a little bit of blues inspired music while we look at this painting that has a blue ceiling and blue here. And uh, turquoise also. Do we have. This is. Everybody's staring at their portable phone. Okay, all right. Does anyone care to analyze this picture, Liz, Marsha, or Sarah? You're experts. You're here to analyze the picture. <laughs> that's why you get paid extra. There seems to be a flasher. There, there's a flasher? Uh -huh. All right, that's worth $5. Yeah. Thanks for that. Tell me analysis, Marsha. Okay. There's a, Marcia has, has pointed out that there seems to be a flasher. That would be her. But everybody is ignoring her because they're obsessed with their iPhones. They're on Twitter and Facebook, and they're not looking at the flasher in front of them. I love this the picture. Thank you, Walter. I love it, too. It's really got a lot of mystery in it. It's so heartwarming to hear a fellow painter praise one of my paintings. Uh, Thank it, you, Walter. It's, it's safe to go naked in public. That's pretty good. It's like, yes, 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 Jim. Jim, what do we have? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Jim, I'm sorry. there's a TV show we're doing here. Jim. One second. You, you oh, he's acting out the painting. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's on their cell phone. That's really good. Uh, well, Jim <laughs> misses an opportunity to title this painting. Victor Barkers, what do we have? Ravished alienation. Ravished? Ravished, ravished. alienation. <laughs> I thought he said ra ravished. Oh, ravished. Ravished is good. Ravished alienation. What do we have from Jim Kempner? Um. That's it. That's um, not a good no, no? title. That's <laughs> not good. No, okay. I can ask them if you okay, want. Well. If you want to say Sea of Red. <laughs> yes, Walter? I didn't actually give you a title for this, but I'll say, Hello, I'm not there. I love it. Jim, you have anything even better? What was yours? Hello, I'm not there. Hello, I'm there. <laughs> Can I buy? It's more positive. I like it. Can I, it's a yeah. little more positive. Yes, yes. Like we it. need positive in this time of economic crisis. Can I buy? Hello, I'm there. By Jim Kempner for twenty dollars. Lots of support, but not overwhelming. Now, Walter's title: Hello, I'm not there. By Walter Robinson. I don't like that any better. Equivalent support, maybe a little more. And Victor, your I best title is? is Statues Abused. Statues Abused. Can I buy that for twenty bucks? This is like you got a bunch of duds like up here, baby. It's, it's not How good. about a red state strategy? <laughs> red state strategy, politically loaded. <laughs> I'm buying it. Twenty dollars for Walter Robinson. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Here's a painting that you should be able to relate to. Yes. Being the art, the art dealer down the block. Yes. <laughs> Money falling from heaven oh, yes. into your pockets. I saw this one on Facebook. A similar one, yeah. You should have paid more attention to the uh -huh. voting. The thing. winner. <laughs> <laughs> Money falling from heaven, the rainbow. Rainbow. Those Pat Doherty's on the case. Ship Money. of tools. Ship of tools. Can I, can I see it a bit closer? And these are all uh -uh. art dealers. Any so, titles? We don't want anything negative. Victor first. Yes, Victor. Because Starby crosses the Delaware. <laughs> I like the comparison. Yes, very good. Walter, your best title is? Well, I got to like Ship of Tools. Okay, that's even yours, though, right? Okay. Even though you don't want to be negative about your art dealers. Well, no, art dealers are tools, right? For us artists, right, Walter? They're, yes. Oh, we probably shouldn't have said that. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. Did you he like Walter? He meant it. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Liz Marcus, any comment? I think mean, it's really interesting how they're not fighting for the money. Oh, you like know, they do here on the very, game show. They're very here they like, fight for the money. I like, like, wait you see Simon Sirigo. I have another title. Yes, Victor, your best title is? Yeah. Art Critics on Vacation. Is that what they get on <laughs> vacation pay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. 
Art Critics on Vacation by Victor Barkas. Is that worth $20? No. Walter, your best title is? Look, and it's in a rainbow. The money is yeah. in a rainbow. Right. right. At the end of the rainbow. Raining money. Yes. Jim, you should be late for this picture. Like yeah. Money flying from the sky. And the, and the cash registers are floating. Yeah. Like life rafts. Uh, Spiritual is pictured. Manifest destiny. <laughs> You like that? Yeah. That's Louis Fleck. Yeah. He's a camera person on the TV show. But... <laughs> Louis is a genius. Well, he has uh, extra energy, you know. He... You know, the, the way the money just comes to them. Yeah, easy, easy money. That notion of manifest destiny really Oh, so you suits. like it. Can I buy Manifest Destiny by Louis Fleck, approved the by money Walter just Robinson? Comes to you. It's your yes, I, I'm afraid so. Louis Fleck takes home another $20 bill. <laughs> This one, here, here we go again. This one, again, this is people obsessed with their mobile phones, twittering away, failing to realize the beauty in front of their faces. This woman is looking at these people dancing. Notice they're dancing here, they're dancing. But they're gonna, dancing romantically. They're dancing romantically <laughs> while people are twittering away. Are on they their, waltzing? On they could be iPhones. waltzing. What do you, or the foxtrot they could be doing. You do? Okay. Cha -cha. Liz likes the Caravaggio shaft of light in the background, and that comment is worth $5. Yeah. Okay. Because she, because she, I thought it was the Kiriko. Tied it into art history. Was yes, it at the Kiriko? Well, there are, yeah. There are dollars to Jim Kurt, uh, Jim Kempner for you can call me spotting anything. the dip. Pay me. What? Edward Hopper. Ed Hopper, $5 to Lisa Rose. <laughs> now, for pointing out all the art history in this picture, we got Frank Friegel. Hopper. What? Frank, Frank Friegel. Frank Friegel? Yeah, don't you know Frank Friegel? No, who's that? Oh, well, it looks just like Frank Friegel. Is that Friegel. someone you show? No. Okay. All right. I wouldn't know. How about Long Distance Seduction? I love that title. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll vote on it now, unless you guys can come up with something better fast. <laughs> well, you know what I would call it? What? Windows. Oh, great, too. You yeah. could sell it to a corporation. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. And your title, Jim, name? is? Windows. <laughs> That's what that's called. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's called appropriation, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I buy? Which windows should I vote on? Jim's title. Uh -oh. Jim Kempner's windows. Can I buy windows by Jim Kempner? That's a real popularity contest. Can I buy windows by Walter Robinson? Yeah. <laughs> so mixed. I'll split it with you. you. He said it's different. Can I, yeah. <laughs> but Walter was first. You are an art dealer. <laughs> that doesn't seem to matter. Look what happened with Walter with spin painters. Oh, and Christ, Danny let and him have it. No, no, he's not Victor Park was here. He wrote that's the right. first and definitive war all biography. Oh, long point. distance seduction. Can I buy long distance yeah, yeah. seduction? That should get double, right? Like Twenty dollars to Victor Park. <laughs> okay. All right, let's pick up the pace here. This painting needs a title. Here's a little ode to vanity. She's looking in the mirror and seeing another kind of face. Mm. Oh my God. In other words, she's like two-faced. Wow. You, as a dealer, have experienced that before. Can I see it a lot closer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. Lovely? Did you say lovely? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Well, uh, Victor, that's, that's so nice of you. <laughs> uh, Walter? Uh, that's frightening. Called the wrong me. Oh, that's nice. The wrong me. The wrong me is good. Jim, you have encountered competition. The talent on this side of the pantheon. Look at me. Look at me. That's not good. No. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Three times? No, that's twice. Like taking a bad title and doubling it. Oh. Okay. It's not good. No. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. I... Yeah, but you're here because you are able to do good. That is correct. Mira, Mira, in my boudoir. No. That's desperate. That's <laughs> so desperate. <laughs> let's, That's, let's go to the other luminaries uh, and vote. Victor, your best title was? Harlequin Dance. Harlequin Dance by Victor <laughs> Bacchus. Is that worth $20? <laughs> Can I buy it? Uh, I don't think so, Walter. Your best title was? Yours was The Wrong Me. The wrong. That was good. Can I buy yeah. The Wrong Me by Walter Robinson for $20? Yes, I think so. Look at that. Thanks, girls. Now, I know 
Victor, that you're doing important stuff now. But I just want to, some of these people don't know that you were the guy who introduced William Burroughs to Andy Warhol. That's very true. Right? And you guys had a three-way interview. And we had three dinners. We had three dinners three together. Dinners? Yeah. One All three, three of you together, three dinners? Yeah. One for and you interviewed each one? We, I just taped the dinner. And, and that was historic, right? It was very funny. What was the first thing that either Andy said to Burroughs or Burroughs said to Andy? Andy said, Bill has a big cock. Really? Yeah. How did he know that if they were meeting for the first time? Well, it was just, that's, Andy always said that to people. Oh, shake, really? shake them up. Okay. <laughs> just to break the ice. Yeah, right. Okay. This is a new painting. Speaking of ice melting oh or butter melting. What is going on here? Sex. Victor, that is painting about nothing but sex. Sure as hell is. Yeah, yeah show that. Look at that liquid, yeah. creamy stuff goo oozing all over the lovers. No, wait a minute. Victor, it's about sex. What's your title? 21st Century Paradise. Beautiful. 21st Got Century it. Paradise. I, I like it. You, you didn't have to repeat it. I, I <laughs> it the first time. Walter, your best title for this picture is? One for the book. Nice. One for the book. Jim, you're up against stiff competition. What's your title for this picture? Ravishing Floral Tale. Let's vote on that one first. Can I buy it? Ravishing Floral Tale, as in story. Uh, right? Ravishing Floral Tale, very likely, unless Walter's title, which was? One for the Books. One for the Books, for by Walter Robinson. Not quite the same support Victor yours was. I'll change it to The Poet's Voyeur. The Poet's Voyeur, very poetic. Can I buy Victor's title, The Poet's Voyeur? I think the answer is yes. The money goes to Victor Marcus. Okay. Very special painting for me because I, I just sold it to some of my best clients. Yeah. But it needs the title. The Italian. It needs the title still. But they saw the painting, and it's a spiritual painting. It has an angel in it. Clearly, clearly. And uh, uh. This is a different style, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. I think you did it yourself, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> is this from the '80s? Right, it's so expressionistic. Uh. Oh, well. You don't usually huh? sign them, do you? What's with the smile? No, I sign face? them, but I don't usually sign them this big. <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, with the like Gary Awesome. Is this is some oh, kind of trick. Devil. Oh, oh, is this is some oh, kind I of gag. I, 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 I actually, I have a great title for you. You do? You mean you like the painting? I love the painting. Really? I just read it in D.H. Lawrence. Well, why do you like it, uh, Simon? Why do I like it? Yeah. Because it's basically about, uh, you know, our little green demons that we have to somehow embrace. Uh-huh. So Jim, you saw this painting earlier, right? No. Remember when you got a tour <coughs> of the... Remember? I, I told you about the... My clients that I bring to your gallery often? Yeah. Yeah. And but I didn't see, uh, I don't think I, no, I wouldn't remember that. that. I, I, I had a different I painting, right? What? Yeah. This is the same subject, but it looks different. The other one, <laughs> he was facing... Remember the one you pointed out that it had a butt in it, and that's yeah. why you liked it? Right. Oh, yeah. But I don't, there's but, no butt. Is that, oh, that... Well, the butt's still there, but... Uh, it's a butt picture. I'm not right. But, no, I mean, oh, I see this... Well, Fredo... It's a, it's really a classic. Uh, you but, like this one? Oh, I think it's, I, it's, it's my favorite painting so far. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Mine too. Really? I mean, I gotta be honest with it, you. Really? Yeah. 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 It's wow. really powerful. Oh, it's a nice, thank it's a nice beautiful. Beautiful. I should yeah. give my yeah. assistant who painted it for me a huge raise. Since it's, it's a, I <laughs> like the new the, direction, number you, one. You like it? I do. You mean you would show that? Show it? Yeah, I'd show it. You would show that in your gallery? I think I would. Really? Uh, yeah. I, I, well, really? what are you saying? You did it. I mean, you did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I've never shown in your gallery before. Since you like it, you know, you've never shown my work. Well, I... And we're neighbors. Well, come I on. Help you sell Bring them walls. over. I mean, by the car. Really? I, they look oh, like I, that. Wow. Why are you making me so happy? You forgot I got my name. gallery. Heaven. <laughs> heaven. Oh. Heaven, heaven Hug Me. Heaven Hug Me by, by uh, Jim Kemner. Is that worth $50? Heaven Hug Me. Oh, yes, Jim Kemner. Oh, baby. Yes. Speaking of pressure, here is the art dealer down the block squeezing the artist 
for another splat painting. <laughs> another splat. I love these What's things. Uh, you look at the pressure to paint here, Walter. Don't you feel that sometimes? Oh, Aren't I they calling it. you every day for Metro Pictures? Say more, Walter. More, more, more. It's like they don't do that anymore. I love that. <laughs> I love this paint. Am I being mean, It's like getting blood out of the Because that Polish stone, girl has it? copied your style, it's showing downstairs. What should we call this picture, Victor Barkas? Astonish me. Nice. Jim Kemner, this is up your alley. Watch that. <laughs> no, no, because it's about an art dealer pressure yeah, artist to produce. It's, yeah. it's you, you, with the big red hand saying more. Taking the plunge. Why? Well, he's the... Oh, there's a plunge? No, that's a brush. That's a, <laughs> a brush. That's a fan blending oh, brush. Have you ever seen brushes before? Uh, no, I never you? did. No, no. no. Mm -hmm. I'll get it back to Heidi. And Walter, your title for this picture of the poor artist being forced to produce. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> the guy one other one. All right. Mark, I've got one other. What's your other one, Victor? Okay. Cash injection. That's nice. <laughs> Can I buy it? First, let's first vote on, vote on Walter Robinson's title. Excuse me, is that worth $20? Yeah. Oh, Walter, they don't understand. Don't Victor, like your title is? Cash injection. Cash injection, that's what we all want. That's going to win unless Jim can blow them away with your title, which is? <laughs> the money goes to Victor Barker. <laughs> Is that what you see in this painting, uh, Patrick? <laughs> what do you see musically in this painting? Oh, here we have a second chance for this. Passion. Abstract passion. Yes. That's not bad. Now we're talking. Abstract passion. Passion here, abstraction here. And the guy is on his, uh, his cell phone. This is the first art history bonus question. Which contemporary artist makes sculptures that look a little Roxy bit like Pan. that? Roxy Very Roxy good. Pan. Walter gets the money. <laughs> $20 to Walter Robinson. Blob has a kind of figure in it. Yeah, well, that's like the 1970s advertising strategy, subliminal seduction. Is that your title, Walter? Yeah. Can I buy Walter Robinson's subliminal seduction by Walter Robinson? Yes, I think it, that's the title. Thank you, Walter. <laughs> Oh, Editor because, of Artnet Magazine, why are you... It's always such a great thing when your shadow refuses to follow you. Oh, yeah. It takes off on its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Discorporation. Or uncooperation. Uncooperative so. discorporation. What are, those, right. what are those floating money bags, or what yeah, are those? Yeah, yeah, That's something Jim can relate to, see? Money? Jim, Light as air, or maybe they're... Uh, Victor. That's cool, yeah. That's cool, yeah? That's cool, I like that. Thank you. Coming from you, that is like... Heidi, is that an honor or not? That's a real honor. <laughs> Coming from the Victor, they they like the the king of cool says it's cool. And that's like you're me. Like, okay, Jim. Yes, Jim. Your title is. The shadow doesn't know. Yeah, I get it. It's an update on the thing. <laughs> shadow doesn't get know. It. I want you to get it. I got it, Walter. What are you doing on your iPad? I'm sending out messages asking for help. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do that on game shows. That's allowed. Yes, it's my lifeline. Is that your title? Lifeline? Oh, that's cool. It's my lifeline or lifeline? What you is it? You guys Walter? like that? Lifeline. Yes. It's, it's lifeline? Okay. Lifeline. Can I buy it? Good. Good. Walter Robinson, lifeline, lifeline for $20. Yes. Yeah, look at that, Walter. You are so impressive. <laughs> You're the Kostabi show. Since you like the paintings, you review it. You give it a great review. At, at, and we'll give him a cut. At Jim's. Yeah, right. <laughs> a cut I of show in your gallery. He <laughs> reviews it. Yes, yeah. We give him a kickback. I mean, a cut. <laughs> we give him a, a, a well, then, You know, typically the, the artist would give the critic a, a gift of a work. Wait, we got another writer. Victor, could, could you get in on this too? Victor, yeah, can you yeah. review the show? I do the show, his gallery, right? Right. They both praise it. And they, they Victor both can write a cut. book about it. I give like it a raise. Yeah. I give it a raise. And yeah, then yeah. They, they pay yeah. us. Right. And it'll be in the New yeah. York Times. Right, definitely. 
Yeah. Uh, it is a few reference to Italian futurism. Right, right, right. And there's a woman who is so hot. This is a painting I would love to have. Uh, we can work that out. <laughs> yeah, because she's so hot that she's yeah. contaminating the black and white futurist universe that she's presently yeah. occupying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the thing that the ladies used to wear to keep the girdle? Garters. Garters. Okay. I just was wondering. <laughs> you want to work? Yes, Pat. Well, she's on a horse, which no one's mentioned. It's How about true, magnetism? magnetism. And, oh, uh, that's so good. From Pat Doherty, the great pianist. Animal magnetism. Can I buy that for twenty dollars? Everybody vote. Yes, twenty dollars to Pat Doherty. Yeah. on this episode of The Kastabi Show. All right, this is okay. your chance to get another $20, Jim. Okay. Oh my God, that's a great one. Thank wow. you. Why do you that like is, this painting, Walter? I'm so flattered. I just guess I just like the idea of the artist as a robot. The <laughs> artist doesn't paint. The artist is the guy who's coming in to check out what the painter is. Is that painting. the artist's girlfriend next to him? Yeah. That's the artist with his girlfriend. Pigtails. Right. Pigtails. He always pigtails. Those pigtails. Yeah. yeah. I like those that's pigtails. the artist. He's no robot. The, the, right. The, the painter is the poet. Whatever the you say, Mark. Whatever you no, say. No, this is yeah, a kind of autobiographical painting. Mm. These are the painting assistants. They're the robots. Mm, I love that. Right? I love the, the studio scenes. Turning on the, turning on the lights because he controls, you know, like, let there be light. Okay. Right? Think, is that the title, Sarah? The the let there be light. That's a good title. That's a good title. Yeah, I think it's a Should we vote on that? Yeah. By Sarah Kerr's. Can I buy it for $20? Let there be light. Incredible Sarah Kerr's. Thank you very much, Sarah. Oh.